if you find it early, decades in advance, which is what the goal of NASA is to do and goal of the B6L Foundation is to do, we have many options. The, then you only need to change its trajectory by a very, very tiny amount. Um, uh, Senator Nelson, you know from um, you know, having flown in space that um, when you are many orbits ahead of time, very tiny changes in your speed make big differences in the timing of where you are many orbits later, and that's exactly what you do. It turns out, so in real terms, if you change an asteroid's speed by something like a millimeter per second, you know, that's about the speed that an ant walks. Uh, and you do that 10 years or more decades and before it's going to hit the Earth, you can make it miss the Earth. So that means all you basically really need to do is either run into it with a small spacecraft. It's called a kinetic impactor. You can tow them gravitationally using a small spacecraft called a gravity tractor. For the very larger ones, the kilometer-sized ones, you can use a nuclear standoff explosion. These are all technologies that we believe we know how to do. The key is, if you don't know where they are, there is nothing you can do. If you have less than a few years' notice right now, there we have no options.